Now we'll look at condensing logarithmic expressions. So we apply the power property first, identify terms that are products of factors and logarithm, rewrite each as a logarithm of a power. Next, apply the product property, rewrite sums of logarithms as the uh, logarithm of a product, and apply the quotient property last, rewrite differences of logarithms as the logarithm of a quotient. So we have uh, right log base 3 of 5 plus log base 3 of 8 minus log base 3 of 2 as a single logarithm. Well, these are added, so it would be log base 3 of 5 times 8 minus log base 3 of 2. And with that difference, that would become a division. So it's log base 3 of 40, 5 times 8 is 40, over 2. So that equals 40. Uh, and that would be log base 3 of 20. And the next one is going to be log base 3 of x squared. This then plus 1 half, that will become a power here. This will become a power here. Plus log, 1 half log base 2 of x minus 1 minus 3 log base 2 of x plus 3 squared. So, there we go. So it's going to be log base 2 of x squared plus log base 2 of x minus 1 to the 1 half minus log base 2 of x plus 3 squared. Um, do it like this cubed. So it's log base 2 of, this would be x squared times x minus 1 to the 1 half, minus log base 2 of x plus 2 to the 6th power, 2 times 3 is 6. Now we can write this as a single log, log base 2 of x squared times x minus 1 to the 1 half over x plus 2 to the 6th. Okay, that's it for that. And the next one is going to be rewrite 2 times log x minus 4 times log of x plus 5 plus 1 half times log of 3x plus 5 as a single log. So this becomes a power. This becomes a power. This becomes a power. So we end up with log of x squared minus log of x plus 5 to the fourth plus log of 3x plus 5 to the 1 over x. So, I mean, at this point, we could write this as a single log. The, the ones that are plus are going to go on top, and the minus one will go down below. So log of x squared, <clears throat> excuse me, times 3x plus 5 to the 1 over x over x plus 5 to the fourth power. And that's it.